I noticed that you and your whole crew, you are all married to foreigners. Did you like, <laughs> do you guys have that? like a foreigner fetish <laughs> or like, or when you guys got with them, was were foreigners Uso back in the 90s? Or, <laughs> in like, the 90s, I was um, yeah. 12. So yeah, did you plan it? No, so I think we all started off dating Filipinos and then it just happened naturally that a lot of these expats came to Manila and we met them and we liked them. So you, but we didn't you go on like a foreign Tinder and be like, ooh, that French guy looks good and that Argentinian looks yummy. No. So you all started dating Filipinas, uh, yeah. Filipinos. Yeah. What is the difference between Filipino men and dating Western men? Yeah, that's a good question. Right? Well, you're a halfie, so you should be... I, I'm what I was raised though Western, Western, so I'm a Western. Western guys are less romantic and flowery in a sense that they're very straight to the point. Like, what are we gonna do for Valentine's? You know, they're not gonna cover the ground with roses and basically layer it with chocolates and stuff. Whereas Filipino guys are all about big romantic gestures. That's really sweet too. So I appreciate both. Sometimes I wish. The Westerners would learn also, but they're very practical. Yeah, I'm very like what you're describing. I'm very Western. It's yeah. just like, hey, what are we doing? Yeah, it's what are we doing Valentine's for Valentine's Day? Like, let's schedule it. Yeah. We have like a... yeah, exactly. Can you book this restaurant and yeah. book a spa? Okay, what do you want? Do you rather have flowers, chocolate, or would you rather go out to a five star meal? Which pick which one yeah, exactly. you would like the most? You know, yeah. I'm just practical. Yeah, I don't like to have to like guess and then lose energy like trying to make decisions and yeah. like, just tell me what you want and then we'll figure it out. Boom. Exactly. You know? I think yeah. The so guys which are one like do you that. prefer? Um, well, obviously, I don't have high expectations. I don't expect big gestures, especially when you're in a relationship for a long time. So I'm happy being low key and just doing something we're both comfortable with. Who was the first of your group to get with a foreigner, and then who started? Yeah, this foreigner trend. Um, me? I think it was me. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you ever deal with, like, the your parents, or do you ever have, like, reverse racism? Like, my Lola said, improve the race. You know, my mom <laughs> dated my dad, and then you have me, and, like, they think it's cool in the province of Mindoro to, like, marry foreigners and yeah. then have these, like, half-breeds. Yeah. Have you ever, like, heard that from your family or anyone? I think the Asian and specifically Filipino culture, when you're lighter skinned, they see that as more beautiful, That's okay. right? So, or maybe it's a money, financial thing. Both, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess it's both also. So <laughs> I don't think my family is like that though. They're not yeah. necessarily saying improve the race. I think they're very confident with how they look. Okay. But I will tell you this, every time my mom used to meet a Caucasian guy, like she'd meet someone from like Finland, she'd be like, you know, my daughter's boyfriend is French. And the guy would be like, that's great. And then one time she like brought this guy who was from, I think Oslo, and she was like, he's French. And I'm like, I had to tell her mom, he doesn't need to meet every single white person that you meet on the street because she just thought any Caucasian would connect. How do you feel like dating a Filipina versus dating a white person? Oh, it's completely different. Why, what do Fil Filipinas want? And what it, well, yeah, tell well, me, how is it different? It's a lot more time and like, you know, yeah, it's a lot more time and there's a lot of, yeah. What? You know, like talking on the phone and <clears throat> yeah, just time and stuff. And What's your language of love, Ba? Is it time? Is it affection? Is it words of affirmation? Is it service? I think it's everything. It's touch. I think it's everything. No, you have to, you only, a person has like, like I think top two. Yeah, I don't know. Probably like affection, because that's how I am. I think I'm very affectionate, right? So probably okay. just being sweet and, you know, making you feel that, you know, you're. Um, so touch. Yeah, that as well. Yeah, because affection, it's like. Is that the same thing? Or this yeah, so there's, there's words of affirmation. And then there's touch. That's really nice, touch. words of affirmation. Yeah. And then there's time. Yeah, that's really nice now that there's I think about it. There's acts of service. Because I do the word, I do, as a person, I do the words of affir affirmation and I am affectionate. So that's probably what I want if that's what I'm giving. Yeah. I think. Maybe, yeah. 
It's true. So you don't look at acts of service as a measure of love, like if somebody picked you up at the airport or something. <laughs> Why? So picking up at the airport, see, this is something that's like... If you liked what you saw and you want to listen to the full episode, then download Spotify and follow us at Superhuman with Will Dasevich. It's completely free. It's linked below and easy to use.